Okay, we're gonna try something a little different for Telelearn this time. Try out some new software I found. Um, so I'm gonna post this YouTube video, and then a little while later, I'm gonna be able to embed questions within it. So if you're seeing the YouTube video right away because you subscribe to the channel, um, you can start answering the questions, but that is not the entire Telelearn assignment. You're going to be logging in to a site called Educanon and you'll be answering questions within Educanon and submitting those to me. And they'll be in the form of multiple choice questions. So to get started, so here's your first scenario. You've got an albinism question, and your first question to go with this statement is that if two heterozygous people have children, what is the chance that child will have normal skin pigment? Question number two, what is the chance that the child will be albino? And question number three, if the child has normal skin pigment, what is the chance that it's a carrier for albinism? Moving on to the second question. So we've got these purple peter, people eaters with their horns, and so I want you to tell me What's the genotype breakdown for the offspring? And what's the phenotype breakdown for the offspring? And I'll be working that out on that page and moving along to the next question. So you've got brown and blue eyes. And so again, if two heterozygous people mate, what are the likely genotype and phenotype ratios? We're starting off with some monohybrid crosses. We're going to move on now. Dihybrid cross. So I want you to tell me what is the dominant to dominant recessive, sorry, what is the ratio? It's going to be written out in the question. I'm just going to let you read the question. But it's that same, you know, if this were two heterozygous individuals, it would be 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. But what is it now with these individuals? I want you to tell me what this inheritance pattern is that's being described. Then you've got this question, the answer. Here I want you to tell me the expected phenotype and genotype frequencies. And another blood type question. And yet another blood type question. You should be really good at these by now. Again, you can see the question in the slide here. And here again. Here you can just use the letter A for that. So now you're going to see a few parents and be answering this question each time. And version 2. So you're looking for all the possible inheritance patterns here. And here I want the inheritance pattern. And then I want you to tell me what the genotypes of the parents would be. And finally, work this one out and you'll be able to answer. After 4 p.m. when this is due on Monday, I will post a video that has the answers worked out. But it's very, very important for that reason that you submit by 4 p.m. on Monday, which would be the close of the school day on Monday. Thanks, guys.